you may or may not be able to see the laser beam straight down the creek. It's about almost 300 feet away. And, uh, we're at 27 from the water line there. So we come down here, you can see my water level if we're double checking. And I'm gonna step off this rock. <laughs> turn around here's the story pole turn on the laser not quite getting it something might be blocking the laser beam Right there, we're at five foot five. dip tube in here to bring this down to about here to let more air up in here all right all right here's inlet three-quarter pipe in the one inch to let some air in look down here it's hard to see you can see the air getting sucked in oh, let me see I can focus a little bit you can see the air bubbles going into the chamber pretty well had to adjust the flow at the outtake still no pumping yet though I have the hose submerged underwater where is that so when I see air bubbles coming, I would assume it's working. More later. Here you can see the difference in the bubbles getting sucked down. As I raise and lower the outlet, as I take it up, bubbles have a harder time getting down. As I take it down, you see a lot more air gets sucked into it. The lower I go, the better the airflow is into the chamber. So that's interesting. And I think this will help me on my model too. Sorry, the focus is kind of tough here. You can see all the air bubbles getting sucked down now. I try to position the hose so we get more of a vortex flow. Here's a shot standing back a little bit. It's hard to see it in this light. But that's what the setup I'm working with. You can see the outlet there. Dealing with very little flow at the moment. This is just experimenting before I start gluing down on this two inch model. Still not getting any pumping either. <laughs> 